Hello everyone, I'm Alexander Nell and today I'm going to be explaining to you the properties of the Poisson distribution, how to derive its moment generating function how to and how to derive its first two moments. So let's start off with the Poisson distribution. If a random variable x um, is said to follow the Poisson distribution, the Poisson distribution, and we may write it as this form, where this lambda refers to the rate parameter. That means the number of arrivals occurring per unit time. So let's take an example. Say we have people arriving at a bus stop and we have five people arriving every minute. Then our rate parameter lambda will be equal to five people per minute. So then if we wanted to model the arrivals at this, this uh, bus stop, we would simply say that the arrivals, x, are distributed as a Poisson distribution with a rate parameter lambda equal to five people per minute. Now, this is just a motivating example to show you how and why we use the Poisson distribution. It simply gets you to start thinking about it. It's dealing with the number of arrivals occurring in a unit of time. But what about the probability mass function? So the PMF, which is often denoted with a little p of x, or the probability that the random variable x is equal to a specific value, is equal to lambda to the power x e to the negative lambda over x factorial and this is for the support of x is equal to 0 1 2 and so on so this is the probability mass function for a poisson distributed random variable then if we looked at the cumulative distribution function the cdf which is the probability that capital x is less than or equal to some value a that is going to be the summation from x is 0 all the way up to a of lambda to the power x e to the negative lambda of the x factorial. There's no closed, nice closed form solution to this, so usually you'll just leave it like this. Now, here come the interesting things. When we uh, deal with probability distributions, we are, usually we do it because we're interested in the expected value. Now the expected value of a Poisson distribution is equal to lambda, which is also equal to the variance. Well, how do we show this? Now, remember that the expected value of a random variable is always defined as the summation of x times the probability of x for all the values that x can take. So let's apply this formula. This is equal to the summation from x is zero, all the way up to infinity of x times lambda to the power x e to the negative lambda over x factorial. Now, what we can note here is that x factorial is x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 and so on. So we note that this top x can cancel with this x factorial and which will leave us with an x minus 1 factorial. So then this becomes the summation from x is 0 to infinity of lambda to the power x e to the negative lambda over x minus 1 factorial. But notice we have a problem here. This x is 0 is no longer valid. We already discarded it because we used up the x. So we need to go and change this and make it x equal to 1. And over here, we see we have an e to the negative lambda here, which is independent of this x so we can take it out so what it becomes it becomes e to the negative lambda and remove one more lambda here because i'll show you why now multiplied by the summation from x is one to infinity of lambda to the power x minus one over x minus one factorial And this, if you look carefully, it will nicely simplify to lambda e to the negative lambda 
times the summation from x is 1 to infinity of lambda to the power x minus 1 over x minus 1 factorial. And there is a rule that states that this summation becomes e to the power of lambda. So we end up with it's equal to lambda times e to the power negative lambda times lambda, which results in lambda. So we have proved that the expected value of x is equal to lambda, or rather we have derived it. So that, that concludes the discussion for the expected value of x. How about the variance of x? Well, there's an important formula that you will learn that says that the variance of x can be expressed as the expected value of x squared minus the square of the expected value of x. Now, there is another trick when we're carrying out the derivation of the variance, especially for um, discrete distributions such as the Poisson. The expected value of x squared, instead of doing that directly, write it as the expect is equal to the expected value of x multiplied by x minus 1, and you add an expected value of x later. And it will become clear why you should do this when I show you in the next page. We have these two equations written here, so let's apply them to derive the variance of the Poisson distribution. So we're going to make use firstly of this result here. We know that the expected value of x is equal to lambda. We have derived, derived this already. Now let's use this. This is simply the summation of x times x minus 1 multiplied by px, which we know is going to be the summation from x is equal to 0 to infinity of x times x minus 1 multiplied by lambda to the power x e to the negative lambda over x factorial. Now, in a similar manner, we know, as before, x factorial is simply x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 factorial. Notice that this, these two will cancel out with these two, which leaves us with this simplified expression of lambda to the power x e to the negative lambda over x minus 2 factorial. Notice again that we need to change these bounds. It cannot be from 0. We will have to make this summation start from 2 to infinity. And then over here, lambda to the power of x. We can split this up to become lambda to the power x minus 2 times lambda to the power 2 times e to the negative lambda over x minus 2 factorial. Notice that this right hand side is independent of x. There is no x involved in there. So we can simply rewrite this as lambda squared times e to the negative lambda multiplied by the summation from x is 2 to infinity of lambda to the power x minus 2 over x minus 2 factorial. And the rule that we use here to resolve this summation operator is that the summation of a to the power x over x factorial results in e to the power of a. And this leaves us with the, variant, the expected value of x times x minus 1 being lambda squared times e to the negative lambda multiplied by e to the power of lambda, which is equal to lambda squared. Now, now we have this, so we can now derive the variance. The variance of x is equal to the expected value of x times x minus 1 plus the expected value of x minus the square of the expected value of x. So now this is lambda squared plus lambda minus lambda squared, which results in lambda. So we know 
that for the Poisson distribution, if x is distributed as Poisson with a right parameter of lambda, the variance of x is equal to the expected value of x is equal to lambda. And that concludes the derivation of that variance and the expected value of x if x is distributed as a Poisson random variable. Now, there is an important thing that I need to draw your attention to. The summation that is necessary to allow this, this equation and this change here over here to work is due to this equation. The summation from x is 0 to infinity of a to the power x over x factorial is equal to e to the power a. Now, if you notice, we don't have x is 0. We're starting here from x is 2. That's not right. Something is wrong here. Well, all you have to do is you need to make a substitution. So you let y be equal to x minus 2. So if we do that and apply this to the equation, the summation of x is 2 to infinity of lambda to the power x minus 2 over x minus 2 factorial, then it becomes the summation from y is 0 to infinity of lambda to the power y over y factorial. And this, we know, is going to give us this answer. So it's going to be e to the power lambda. This is absolutely necessary if you wish to derive the expected value of the Poisson distribution. So we need to remember to, to make a change of your variables. This also applies in the expected value of x. Okay. Measure from x is 1. Lambda to the x minus 1 over x minus 1 factorial. Instead here we're just going to let z be equal to x minus 1. And again, the result will be exactly the same as here. You will end up with e to the power lambda as the answer. So I just wanted to point that out to you so you will be 100% clear. The only reason I didn't do it uh, here in this writing here was just to speed up the process of getting to the results. So the last thing that remains for the Poisson distribution for the der derived results is we're going to go and derive the moment generating function. So let's take a corner over here. A moment generating function is always expected value of e to the t x. And we know for a discrete distribution, that's simply going to be the summation of the entire support of e to the t x multiplied by p x. Well, we know what the p x is for the Poisson, so let's get deriving. So it's going to be the summation from x is 0 to infinity of e to the t x multiplied by lambda to the power x times e to the negative lambda over x factorial. This can be rewritten as a summation from x is 0 to infinity of lambda e to the t to the power x times e to the negative lambda over x factorial. And notice again, we're quite fortunate. We have this part, which is independent of the x. So let's bring it outside e to the negative lambda multiplied by the summation from x is 0 to infinity of lambda e to the t x over x factorial. And we know already that this is simply going to be e to the negative lambda multiplied by e to the lambda e t. And that's going to nice give us the nice result of e to the lambda multiplied by e to the power t minus 1. And this is our moment generating function for a Poisson distributed random variable. So usually we denote it as phi of x um, uh, t and it's going to be e to the lambda e to the t minus 1. The important things that you need, that you require for a Poisson distribution to be able to effectively derive its moments you need the result of the summation from x is 0 to infinity of a to the power x over x factorial is equal to e to the power a. This is the first one. You definitely need to know this. And 
if you're sitting in your undergraduate statistics class, you might, most likely have maybe never even seen this before. So this is the result that you need for that. You also need to know to change the limits uh, of your summation operator. And you need to change the variable. Your summation from x is 2 to infinity of uh, lambda to the power x uh, e to the negative lambda over x minus 2 factorial. You need to know to go and change this. You need to use substitution such as y is equal to x minus 2 for the um, second moment or you have to use y is x minus 1 if you're deriving the expected value of x. And that's that that you need to know for the Poisson distribution. If you use these facts and these uh, and the methods that I've shown you, you can easily der derive all the results for the um, um, first two moments. And using this fact and the definition of an MGF, the moment generating function, you can go and derive the moment generating function for the Poisson distribution. That's all and thank you for watching.